get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like Ron Paul Peel, the godfather of infomercials. This is particularly relevant in this particular interview, the founder of the P90X, RX Bar, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, This episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Um, Our mission is to connect you with your best referral partners and customers. We do that with a done-for-you podcast service. Uh, In my opinion, podcasting is the best thing that's ever happened to my business and my life. Met my business partner, best friends. I'm able to connect with amazing people and get great content out to the world. We will mention also from Poop to Gold podcast, so you could check that out as well. Um, uh, We also have a done-for-you lead generation service where we manually send consistent flow of customized outreach messages. This is not paid advertising. Um, And also we do a done for you VIP event for large conferences, software companies, or agencies. Um, If any of those sound interesting, you can uh, email us at support at rise25.com. We have limited bandwidth, so we, uh, because it requires a lot of humans to do the work. So email us and we can talk more. Um, I am especially excited to have today's guest. We have Daniel Harmon, co-founder and creative visionary at Harmon Brothers. Daniel, thanks for, you know, I'm hoping on this, we do some kind of drawing on your belly button and it talks. That's really what I'm hoping for in this particular interview. So that was mainly going to be my first question. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Can um, I show my tummy? <laughs> totally. Anything's fair game here. Um, <laughs> They use storytelling and humor and direct response to create social ads that sell products. And they're behind some of the most viral ads and have collectively driven more than 1 billion views, over 300 million in sales, and revolutionized the way products are marketed. You've probably seen some of their ads. Um, They've created internet advertising blockbusters, including Squatty Potty, Purple Mattress, Chatbooks, Fiber Fix, and Poopery, just to name a few. Um, they also have a book that I highly recommend. Um, I've listened to it, believe it or not, you know, two times. Um, yes, oh, maybe in two times speed, but it's fine. That's, That's twice poop- more than I have. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you lived it. You don't have to listen to it. So. From Poop to Gold, The Marketing Magic of Harmon Brothers. This will give you the behind-the-scenes view of their company, how they create blockbuster ads. Daniel, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me on, Jeremy. Super excited. Everyone should check out From Poop to Gold um, because you guys really do a good job breaking down. um, It's not like you just come up with the first version, you launch it, it goes viral. You do a lot of testing, even a lot of iterations. But then when you have that iterate, you know, the the final cut or what could be the final cut, you go out and you test it. Yes. Um, Talk about that process. I don't think everyone realizes not only do you test it, but then you actually put distribution dollars behind it too. So. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think um, the best filmmakers, maybe this is a little too broad of a statement. I, I think it can be a really good policy as a filmmaker or as a comedian to adopt a lot of the same mentality as an entrepreneur does. Where an entrepreneur goes, goes out with an idea and a product and tests it on a market and then adjusts it, right? Yeah. And essentially that's the way we approach our advertising that as we make an edit, we show it to people. If they're not laughing and we can see consistently, this is not getting laughed, let's cut that joke out. It's just, it's, it's not helping. Let's get it out of there, right? Um, or this part is confusing them. We've got to tweak something here to make that right. And, um, and so that's the process we go through kind of internally to come up with um, an ad that we're going to go out and then test in the real world, right? And we, it's, it's much better to embarrass yourself in front of a few little people than it is to, in front of millions of people online. And so if you can get into that iterative process with your video of not being too precious about your work and showing it to other people and testing them, that's, that's a really great way to come up with some of the best quality. And then ultimately, we, we start with our guts, but then you want to test your way into what's actually working. And so we'll test things like the title of the video. Um, the title for the poopery video, for example, came from a comment hmm. of one of the original YouTube commenters said, girls don't poop. 
And we're like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Let's just throw that in as a title. And it mm -hmm. tested extremely well, right? It was like 10 or 20% better than anything else that we could come up with ourselves. Yeah. Um, but it's the same way where um, we'll test all sorts of different titles, maybe test them against each other, um, all sorts of different thumbnails, so the image that you see on your video, um, the very first image you yeah. see, as well as like we'll test the content itself. What are those first, first few seconds that are going to pull people in? How's that holding people over? We can test all that um, YouTube, Facebook, they all provide really robust tools for being able to analyze that data and find out what works with your audiences. And um, I mean, we always say make it good enough that it doesn't have to be viral. And we feel like that really is the key to it, that if you are making a piece that's so strong that you know when you spend behind it, you can predictably get money back, um, then all of a sudden the views are gonna come along for the ride, right? I mean, so much of what, what we do is we're kind of writing the middle ground of what the advertising world knows. Because on the one extreme, you have direct response, right? And it's known for brands like Snap, um, like Slap Chop and Sham Wow. Yeah. And so Nugget. Ron Paul Peel, wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah there's, exactly. Other brands that start with S. <laughs> um, and they're very, they can be very effective at driving sales immediately, right? But then on the, ex the other extreme polar opposite end, you have brands like Nike, Red Bull, Apple, Ford, and stuff that are doing just very heavy branding, right? And they're not looking for direct response on that um, as much as they have the money to put it out there in front of all the eyeballs in the world and eventually that's gonna come back to them, right? So it's, it's more of a long-term investment kind of thing. But for businesses starting out, that, you can't afford to do that. You can't afford to spend that kind of money. And so we said, what, what, what if you marry the best of both worlds and you have both the direct response that sells really well and then you can marry the really great branding and that's where our comedy and our branding and stuff comes in. And so that when people don't buy a Squatty Potty but they watched and laughed at the ad, then as they're walking through Target or Walgreens or something like, hey, there's a Squatty Potty right there. Should we pick one up? Yeah, let's give it a try, that kind of a thing, you know? Um, and so that's, that's what we do with, with our, our Harvard Brothers campaigns. We live kind of in that, in that middle ground of mixing the best of both worlds and not having to necessarily have the stigmas around, you know, direct response and infomercials mm -hmm. and not also necessarily having to have the, you know, the mega brand or the billions of dollar budget or whatever to, in order to get your name out there like Verizon has to or something. Yeah. And specifically, I mean, you, there's a lot of things you test and um, one of them, I mean, obviously, you know, combining the branding and direct response is you you talk about this over and over is you need to have a call to action, right? Yes. What are some of the calls to action that you guys have created or tested? Maybe you switch them one wasn't working and you switched to what was, or just in general, what, what's been working for some of the, the videos you put out there? Yeah, you bet. Um, I mean, we kind of have a, a harmonism with our calls to action at this point where we say, so if, and then we give kind of a, um, a blanket statement that kind of captures everybody, you know, if you're a human being, that, poop, you should yeah, be yeah, exactly. Like if your poo stinks is the poopery one, uh -huh, then click here to order your poopery today. And, um, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, I think the same thing with squatty potty is, um, well, well on purple it's, so if you or someone, you know, sleeps, you know, <laughs> it's like, obviously everybody sleeps, then we, you can do this. So th those are some of the things that we've done. And it's not to say people need to get stuck in that at all. Um, that's kind of just been our own like signature style on it. But um, the calls to action. Like the poopery, for instance, like I think you did a free tester or something that worked. Yeah. What was, yeah, what were some of the offers? The, the more direct you can be with people, I think when it comes to the call to action, if they stuck around that long in your video, it's okay to speak with them very directly about buying it. You don't have to get overly clever. You don't have to feel like you have to be funny. In fact, in, fact, in many ways, that can often be a distraction um, from the sale. And so you want to be careful of that. Um, but yeah, so Pooperies, um, when Aura Brush had a similar um, type of thing that worked for a long time, which was you can get um, your, your Pooperie for free, just pay for shipping and handling. It's the same thing for Aura Brush, get an Aura Brush free. Uh, uh, pay for shipping and handling, that kind of an offer. Um, 
like uh, Purple's was um, that they provided free shipping and a um, a hundred um, night guarantee. And so there's all sorts of ways to kind of um, remind people that like, yeah, it's time to become a buyer. But you, if people are sticking around your ad, they expect you to ask them to buy. In fact, I feel like if, if you just kind of leave it empty handed and, and open ended, then you're kind of doing um, the customer a disservice. Totally. Yeah. Um, so much to go over so little time. I have one last question for Jen. I mean, like you just, I've, everyone, I encourage anyone to get the book from Poop to Gold um, for one. They also have a Harmon Brothers University. I think it's, it's a harmonbrothersuniversity.com where people can check out. Yeah, harmonbrothersuniversity.com has a course on there on how to write ads that sell, which is the first course we came out with. Um, and that one has... Um, uh, th that one's an application process and there's only so many people we let in the time. Um, but, um, that, that one's a really good resource. If you're wanting to learn to just how to make your ads funny, we have harmonbrothersuniversity.com slash comedy. Um, and that one will, uh, take you to our comedy course, yeah. which is, um, a really, uh, kind of a, a fun thing that we're, uh, that we're really excited about. And there's a really good YouTube video from you guys too on how to be funny, I think. So people should check that one out. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, the, uh, from poop to gold, our, our book it's on harborbrothersbook.com. Yeah. Um, that's, that's available there. I think there's, it's got a special offer for like $20 or if you want to get it on Amazon, it's 30. Yeah. And from poop to gold podcast, um, check it out. Last question. You need to get from Poop the Gold book. I mean, it, it, it documents yeah. your guys' viewpoint in Fiberfix, chapbooks, Camp Shout, all these, and there's some great stories behind it. Um, last question is, you know, since Inspired Insider always ask, low moment and high moment, proud moment. Yeah. What's been um, kind of a low moment? What's been a especially proud moment for you? Yeah. Gosh, I'd say one of the low moments for us was definitely coming out of doing that nativity video where we were at a point of real frustration where, like I said, I drained almost my entire savings account in order to be able to kind of make this business, <laughs> make this business yeah. work. Um, Benton was driving Uber, um, our CEO, <laughs> and um, it, it, we just didn't really see the end in sight. We've had the success now with... Um, with poopery and stuff. And we just weren't seeing it, like you said, financially. And, um, we didn't have our business model, um, nailed down. And that was, that was really tough. It was really kind of a dark moment. And I know a lot of people, like you said, kind of look at us and be like overnight success and all this kind of stuff. And, and they forget, like we had some real hard times where we were just trying to make ends meet by doing just little one-off little videos that you've never even heard anything about. We hadn't figured our stuff out. And, and then, um, like what turned, um, I mean, ultimately we call it our poop to gold moment, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> truly. It turned a really crappy situation into a good one is that Squatty Potty came along, right? And we were able to um, do a deal that made sense for both parties. And it was a just, just a tremendous success that launched us and finally, I think, um, cemented us in people's mind minds as um, kind of authorities in this space. And then that's when um, the leads really started coming in a way where we did purple and fiber fix chat books and so on. Yeah. I mean, I, Daniel, thank you. I appreciate your time. Um, I can't speak highly enough about from poop to gold. Even if you're, you don't care about ads and marketing, there's really good stuff on how you incentivize um, staff to be on yeah. the same page and make it a win-win. It's all, it's all those things on running a company. So I encourage everyone to get the book, check out, you know, we'll, we'll post all some of the, um, link all the year, embed the, uh, some of the, uh, videos you guys have done on this, but I just want to be the first one to thank, you know, say thank you, go to harmbrothers.com, check all their stuff out. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you so much, Jeremy. It's fun being on. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, nice like a peach if you find the same right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.